Hey everyone, welcome to my shop. If it's your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. But today we're working on this thing. We're gonna check it out. This was brought to me by a friend and uh, I think she got ripped off. She bought this for her daughter, her young daughter. She paid like over two grand for it, which is a lot of money. If this thing was in tip top shape, might be okay. This is a 2008, right away, I can tell. The front suspension is blown out. Suspension, forks are gone. It's got a leak. I, re I already removed the skid plate to see what's going on under there. I'm not sure if there's a crack in the casings or if the gasket's leaking. I gotta clean it up under there to take a good look. But she's in a bit of a rough shape. Chain guard is all bent. This little bike looks like it's been banged around pretty good. All this is bent. Otherwise, it's all stock. Front number plate's missing. Choke is hanging. Belongs over here. Let's see how we're gonna fix that. So, this friend is a very good friend of my sister's. And uh, they called me and said, uh, what can what I what I can do? What can I do with this bike? She's pretty much had enough of this bike. She doesn't know what to do. She kind of figures she's gonna take a loss, but she just wants out of it. She doesn't want to see it no more. And I don't blame her. Tires ain't that great. Got a lot of rust around those rims and the tire tires are probably all original I gotta check the year on these tires but really I've seen worse bikes I just feel bad single mom you know buying a toy for her daughter and this back here, okay, that's working fine. So what we're gonna do, let's see if it runs. First thing I'm gonna do is top up the oil because I'm sure it's low, it's been leaking. And uh, we'll start it up, see how it runs. And then we'll give it a wash. Just stay tuned guys. We'll see how this TTR 125 is. So here we go, we're going to check the oil, I'm sure it's going to be low, hope it's not milky. Doesn't look milky, pretty dirty. So let's put the bike up right. don't screw it in oh it's like full of oil let's check it again it's full of oil pretty dirty
I guess that oil leak ain't that bad. starts. She feels dead, so... We're going to see if it's got spark. Hmm. Looks like it's been running pretty rich. got spark. I don't know if you can see that. She's got spark. Well, I passed the sandpaper on it. We got spark. Let's see if it's getting fuel. Let's see. Well, it's getting fuel. That fuel's coming out of the carburetor right here. So we know it's getting fuel. Fuel smells so bad, like Varsol. push this in it comes back out I think the choke is stuck open This thing part. I usually get lucky with bikes. Hey, this one. It's one unlucky bike. Just hoping for it to start. She didn't bring it here because it didn't run. She brought it here because it had the seats not even tied down. Check out this air filter. See what's going on in here. Well, it's pretty dirty. It's not even sealed up. Look at 
like that. Just open. Looks like it's missing, or it's not even on the frame. Filter's got a little frame. Filter's not even on the frame. I'll come back to that in a bit. Right now, let's just try to get it going. I think I gotta change the gas because it does smell like Varso. Holding this while I kick it over. Just choke. Oh, there we go. No. So this thing here finally got it to idle but it won't rev up uh, and then when it warms up it won't idle gotta let it cool down before it runs again definitely carburetor problems so uh, gonna have to take it apart but before I take it apart I want to try something just stay tuned guys I'm gonna try something on this thing so everyone I finally got it going let's start it up here for everybody mind you guys this is like a week later when I started this thing it's been well, I forgot to mention that I did change the gas. That's what I done. were like pretty flat let's take her for a ride see if the clutch works the gears see how the brakes are so if this thing carries me 
It'll carry anybody, guaranteed. Any kid that hops on here should ride. It ain't really a bad bike. Runs good, clutch is good, brakes work, might need front pads. Let's see, for sure, might need front pads, but still works. Needs a choke cable. I'm gonna check the leak. First thing I'm gonna do is wash it up so I can get in there and see what's going on. Well, everyone, washed it up underneath there you know what it was just a loose drain plug for the oil it didn't leak a lot of oil because when I did check it it was not low I didn't I didn't really add any oil in this bike so I knew it wasn't a big leak it was just leaking on this uh, skid plate which was really greasy and it was just soaking up all the grease was just soaking up the oil and uh, leaving a few marks but the oil plug was that's where I found the leak so what I'm gonna do guys is this I'm gonna let it sit overnight or for a few days with no skid plate and see if it continues leaking right now it's all wet it's just dripping but I think just tightening it might have done the trick it's actually not a bad bike. It does need suspension, front and back. You know, might need to uh, just overhaul them because they're all original. Needs a choke cable. And she's a good runner, actually. Brought me around pretty good. Engine's good. Brakes are decent. Clutch is good. Gears are good. The engine sounds good. Clutch ran, I mean, the, the carb ran good, didn't bog out on me, it just revved right to the moon. Until I let go, she wouldn't stop, so she runs pretty good. Just really needs, you know, a little TLC. So, I'm not going to spend any money on this at all, because the way I left off with Mary, because that's her name, is Mary that she wanted to get rid of it i was going to go through it see what it needs and see if i was going to buy it off for her or if she was going to sell it or if i can find someone to buy it for her or sell it for her so if anybody's interested in this bike just leave a comment down below yeah the side panel i didn't put it on because it needs uh all the bolts were missing by the way for the seat and everything i put all new bolts and i just felt a little lazy putting the bolt back on for that but it's a decent bike like i said if anybody's interested in this bike leave a comment down below we'll make a good deal on it, it just needs some uh you know some boots I may have to overhaul the suspension which is pretty cheap front front number plate and a clutch uh, choke cable and that's it she runs pretty good you know air filter 
needs a service for sure it's been sitting so long it wasn't running because of the fuel it was just like turpentine it was like disgusting when I smelled it I said I first I gotta change the fuel before I take this carburetor apart and man it was sure enough to be the fuel so like I said I'm gonna let it dry come back in a few days see if she's still leaking I doubt it I think it's a decent bike if anybody's interested just leave a comment down below or I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe I'll buy it off of uh, Mary and put it up for sale I should sell this in the spring no problem we'll see I can clean it up make it look real nice we'll see how it goes well thanks for watching guys if you're still watching thanks for watching the whole video subscribe to my channel I do mostly restorations we do everything dirt bikes and snowmobiles snowmobile season is gonna be here soon so we're gonna be involved in all the snowmobiles but you can stay tuned this winter I'm gonna be restoring this and starting with this CR 500 this one should be done soon I'm just waiting for some engine parts and this thing should be done but thanks for watching and see you later